I just realized that I was lucky. I was very lucky because early on, in fact, in my first math class, the first math class I ever took, I learned how to get an A on the test. I was super lucky. And the teacher kind of told us how to do it. I mean, he did. I remember hearing his voice. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can go from failing all your tests to acing every test. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. So this teacher I had, what he told us was, every single time you do a homework problem, every single time, you write down the full formula. Write down the entire formula without looking at your notes. Every single time. So when we were solving for the slope of a line passing through two given points, I would write down this formula every single time. I remember sitting at the kitchen table doing 20 examples, and I would write it down 20 times. And I did them all without looking at my notes. I'm going to get it right on the test, right? Because I've become unstoppable at that one problem. And that's the approach I took throughout my entire college career. Now, was I stopped? Did I fall down? Absolutely, right? I, I had some bad grades. I had to withdraw from a class once or twice. I never failed a math class. I never got a C. I think a B was my lowest grade in math, but I think I did, I did, it, I did get a C plus in biology too, so <laughs> not perfect. But for mathematics, that's part of the secret. That's part of it. That's part of it. The part of it that really makes it work is when you are not looking at your notes to write down that formula, then you're jumping into the problem because you already have the formula in front of you. So you don't need to look at your notes. So most of the time, what's happening is you're solving the problem without looking at your notes. Now when you get stuck, you have to go back and look, right? And that's okay. So here's the secret. I'm just going to tell you right now. The secret to acing all your tests in every single math class is to make sure that you can do everything cold, like without having any resources at all. This is a huge, monumental thing to do. I want to emphasize that. I have only reached this level of understanding prior to a test a handful of times in my life. But that is the goal. Okay, I want to emphasize that. Because if you try to do this, if you, if you try to do the advice I'm giving you, you might not be able to do it. But you're going to come close, close enough to get 100 maybe or to get an A at the very worst case scenario, you know? So make sure you can do everything cold. So what is everything? Okay, this is, this is where it gets interesting. By everything, I mean every single homework problem that is assigned, even the annoying ones, those annoying word problems that you usually skip. I used to skip those on tests. So sometimes I would skip them in the homework as well. I'd take the test and I'd take my chances. I'm happy with the 90. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do this, right? This was me managing my time, trying to be as effective as possible, right? Because, you know, in a classroom setting, let's be realistic. There's pressure, you have other classes, you have other responsibilities. You have to manage your time wisely so that you can get the best grade possible with, I don't want to say it, but the minimal amount of work, right? You want to work smart, not hard. But unfortunately in mathematics, working hard is not, uh, it's, you know, it's not voluntary. It's going to happen. You're going to have to work hard. In any case, all of the homework, every single problem, without looking at your notes. Then you have to take it a step further. You have to go through your notes, okay, and understand every idea and every example and be able to reproduce all the examples from your notes. Cold. This is again where you have to make a sacrifice. Do you go through and redo the derivations that your professor did? So that's what I meant by 
many times you won't get there. You won't get to the point where you can do everything cold because the amount of work it takes, the amount of energy that you have to put out to, to get there is incredible. And I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying that you probably have other responsibilities. Let, let me just make a point here about that. So back in the day, like this is a long time ago, before my time, I heard, this is, and I'm pretty sure this is true, that for every credit hour, you're supposed to study five hours a week. So a three credit hour class uh, is like a college algebra class. So 15 hours a week on that class, okay? But then if you take another three credit hour math class, then you're at 30 hours, all right? You take 12 credits, you're at 60 hours a week of pure focus, locked in, 100% studying. Who does that? So then over the years, they lowered it to like four at some point, and then three. I think three is a good number. I think three is a solid number. And then now some people say, just study when you can. The point is, I feel like the bar used to be a little bit higher, and probably because math books were harder to read back then. Some of those older math books are way more advanced than the newer ones today. Point is, you have to learn to do everything cold. So you've redone all the homework, even the annoying ones, and you can do them cold. You've gone through all of your notes, you can do everything cold. If there's any review for the test, any type of review, worship the review. Review is when the teacher goes over like test topics. As a teacher, I believe in reviews, as long as like, you know, it's not exactly, it, it helps. When you tell people what to study for a test, they're going to study, right? So if you have a teacher that does that, that gives you like a topic list or something, that's helpful and that can help you be really good. And any quizzes or anything like that that you had, make sure that you can reproduce them cold. And once you can do all of those things, chances are if you have a good teacher and your teacher makes fair tests and stuff, you should be able to get an A on the test at the very least. Worst case, maybe a B, but try to get an A. No, 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 I take that back. Don't try to get an A. Try to get an A+. Plus. Try to get a 100%. Because if you aim, right, if you aim to be the best, Worst case scenario, you'll probably do pretty good. It's just like aiming to be able to do everything cold, right? If you try to reach that point, that level of ultimate math knowledge, you know, prior to your test, then yeah, sure, you might not get there, but you're gonna come really close. You're gonna come really close. And that's the secret. That's it, that's all it is. That's all it is, and I know it works. Why? Because I've taught, I've had students who will do all the homework, Okay, they'll do all the homework. They'll get 100 in the homework and they'll come to class and they'll participate and they'll sit in the front and they're awesome. They are great people, but they take the test and they fail. Why? Because they lack this thing, which thankfully, you know, to my first college teacher who taught me math, I learned. And he didn't specifically tell me to make sure I could do everything without looking at my notes. He just said, to write down the formula without looking at your notes. So that got me very early on from that first test in the mindset that I needed to know all the formulas. And I associated that in my mind with, I need to know all the formulas and I need to know how to solve every single math problem in this book that's on the section that we're covering. I need to be able to do everything. And I did. I went nuts. I did so many math problems. The biggest hurdle for me studying wasn't my mind, it was the physical pain in my hands sometimes from, from doing so much mathematics. That's how motivated I was, right? So I think when you, when you get to that level of motivation and you start grinding hard and you realize that what you're doing works, when you know it works, when you trust the process, you will do it and you'll succeed. And trust it, it works. If you can do this, you're gonna go from failing to getting a good grade. Guaranteed, it works. The problem is, you know, how, how bad do you want it, really? Because to get to this level, it's not just about finishing the homework, right? Think about it. Think about those people who finished the homework and failed the test. What do they need to do? They need to make sure they can do all the homework cold. They need to make sure they can go through their notes and make sure they can do everything from the notes, you know, cold. So yeah, that's my advice. 
Also talk to your teacher. You know, ask them what you should focus on. And if they say everything, then just focus on everything, right? But they can give you uh, things to go over. You know, you can talk to them. Ask them, should I go over, should I redo the homework? Should I redo the examples from class? Ask your teacher those questions, right? The reason you should ask your teacher is because your teacher is the one that makes the test, right? And how do teachers make tests? Well, how do I make tests? Ha <laughs> I don't want to see on the internet. No, but, you know, usually from the notes, right? Things that are similar to what is presented in class. I think that's perhaps the best way, you know, because the notes, you know, when, when you go to a classroom, what are, you, what are you paying for? I mean, the book you can buy, but it's the lectures. It's the information that's delivered. And that information that's delivered in that finite amount of time is usually very, very important, right? If the teacher is going to waste their time talking for an hour and a half, right, they're going to make sure that that information is going to help you because they know at some point you have to take a test. So, yeah. Anyways, this will take you from failing to, to an A. What do you think? Do you have advice for people trying to learn math? Do you have study tips? What works for you? How do you study for tests? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps other people as well. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They are on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. And if you choose to buy them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. I have courses on algebra, calculus, differential equations, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, trig, etc. I hope it's been helpful. And the key takeaway is, again, just make sure you can do everything without looking at your notes, right? And you'll be all right. So it's just, it's easier said than done. Again, I think I've only been there a handful of times. <laughs> I mean, I'm being honest. <laughs> you know, I've always tried to get there, but like, it's, it's hard, right? You, but that's your goal. Like everything, even the annoying problems. That's the thing. I used to always skip the annoying ones. There was always something I didn't understand and I would just, and that's how it is, right? Because you only have so much time. So prioritize your time. Learn as much possible and try to learn everything. You can do it. Good luck.